So is driving in Guernsey that different to driving in the UK? And this is what I'm going to be speaking about today and I'm also going to be rolling the onboard camera as we discuss it all. So you can see where we are actually here in Guernsey in the Channel Islands, I live here. And uh, this is something that comes up all the time, the question of if someone hasn't ever driven in Guernsey, they, they're very intrigued to know what's it actually like and is it that different to the UK um, so you can obviously see the roads at the moment they are small and um, I think it's hugely different to drive in the UK let me know in the comments what you think about it all and if I uh, speak about anything you got a, a view on but my view is um, it is hugely different to driving in the UK. It doesn't mean that you can't drive in Guernsey if you're used to driving in the UK. And I'm talking about the UK because that's um, where I, I've driven as well. So I've got a quite good knowledge of driving in the UK. Um, and I'm sure it's probably different to driving other places in the world as well. But I'll just speak about the UK a little bit because I've driven in there quite a lot. And um, I find the biggest difference is, is that the speed, the speed you travel at and the size of the roads is a big one. I'm going to speak about a lot more than that, but that, that's the big ones that come across. Because as you can see here, look, this is a typical road in Guernsey. And I know that you do get villages in the UK that you drive through and you slow down and the roads are smaller. So we are sort of one big village, I suppose, is sometimes how I describe it to people. And there's no there's no uh, A roads or there's no nothing leading to the motorways because we have no motorways in Guernsey and I find that's the big one I actually love driving in the UK and getting some speed up on the motorways and the, the vastness of the place and the speeds and the, the fast pace of the cars and the huge roundabouts that's all things that are so different we do have mini roundabouts in Guernsey and I think I'll come across a few on the drive along but they're only mini roundabouts and they're small and the speed zones are very slow we can see we're just passing Beaujajour Leisure Centre here this is the only leisure centre we have in Guernsey uh, this is Amherst Road and just look at the roads I mean this is a million miles away from a motorway isn't it and we have a very high density of cars on the island for the size of the island we have a lot of roads where you can see you can just barely get through here um, and I'm in a van and I sometimes clip my wing mirror there's a lot going on and they're very very small I've spoken to quite a few people who are on holiday here and they say the big thing that sticks out is the size of the roads how small they are and some people actually don't want to drive because of the, the size of the roads obviously that is a big factor we're a small island and obviously we've got the filter and turn system here which is quite unique to Guernsey you go, you take your turn and go, whoever gets to the junction first goes and you filter in after that um, I find that the the only sort of way to get used to driving in Guernsey is to hire a car or bring your car over and just take your time and you do get used to it however there is some roads that you can't pass two cars in so you do have to reverse in lanes and this isn't one of those roads where you'd have to do that you can see you can clearly pass but um, when we go through some lanes you'll notice that sometimes you'll meet each other and you can't get through so you have to reverse and things like that I mean my wife used to she never drove in the UK uh, even though she's from there and when we go to the UK she doesn't want to drive really she said the speed's too fast so you get the other side of it where people from Guernsey don't want to drive in the UK because of the speed they're just not used to it and I must admit it takes me a while to get used to the speed after I've been driving in Guernsey for a while I mean the maximum speed limit is 35 then all of a sudden you're like 70 mile an hour a moment away or you're on a road which is 50 miles an hour and stuff and you have to really be careful of the braking speeds because I notice you have to brake a lot earlier and it's not something I'm used to doing you're traveling a lot faster 
So at the moment we are currently just heading towards the Boat, but the Boat is closed. The road is called the Boat, so we're going to go right here. So yeah, as I'm talking, uh, you've probably been watching the road and just maybe seeing what I'm talking about. You know, there's no fast speeds here at all, which is completely perfect because you cannot speed anywhere. Now, when I say you can't speed, if you want to accelerate and break the speed limit, obviously you can. Let this lady go. But you run the risk of getting caught by the police because the police uh, are out and about and they do speed traps and they hold a radar gun and they just stand at the side of the road. And if you are speeding, you do get caught. Uh, this is a little roundabout here. So we've got Waitrose supermarket on the right and we've got this new restaurant Good Rebel on the left and then that green building on the left that's the new um, Premier Inn so we've got Premier Inn in Guernsey now which is a new thing and we've got the big finance buildings in front there um, yeah but I was talking about you can get some you can get speed traps where people are waiting where the police wait and um never good news if you get caught in one of them because if you're doing you know because the problem is that they do speed traps in slow speed zones so they'll often do a, um, a the police will do a speed trap in a 25 mile per hour zone so sometimes it's very easy to go over 25 for certain people if you're not concentrating you know you could be doing 35 possibly 40 and that's way too fast <laughs> and you will bear the consequences of that if you're in a speed trap but also it's not really that clever to drive too fast in the roads because they are as I mentioned small and there's a lot of people around and it's just not safe at all so you're best just to sp stick to the speed if it's a 25 drive at 25 and um, you can't go wrong but yeah we have some big cars on the islands in fast cars and motorbikes as well which can obviously break that speed limit very easily so they have to be very careful as well you can see in front of you we've got the islands of uh, Herm which is the long one on the left and that little one Jetu Sark and uh, the little islands Alderney's over there Alderney as well <coughs> and uh, just to the right of the screen Jersey in the distance you can't actually see it Jersey's about 20 miles away. But let me know what you think about the driving because um, something that crops up all the time is a, a big thing. I mean, I know a lot of people that holiday in Guernsey um, hire cars and they love it. They drive around, they don't find it an issue. Um, let me know if you've had any uh, accidents or you've hit any wing mirrors or if you've um, <laughs> met a car in a lane and had to reverse down a lane, which is very common it takes getting used to so it is different but it's not it's not on you know it's not impossible you just got um, I think the skill levels may be a different skill is required to drive in Guernsey uh, knowing the size of your width of your car and you know being able to reverse and stuff like that I think um, you know maybe all skills you don't use maybe in other driving different places in the world uh, but uh, I think I covered sort of the ones that come across me and of course there's no MOT in Guernsey neither um, so we don't have to get our cars checked although there is talk of it coming in a while ago that's gone a bit quiet but um, so you can drive around in a car which may not be to the standard of the, the standard of the UK cars um, obviously you need to get your car serviced and stuff but um, yeah there's no MOT So just made our way down, we're on the east coast now of the island and heading down the by the halfway. So we'll take a left here, carry on down. But yeah, I mean that's sort of the main thing. I mean I'd say also the other thing is just driving in a probably just a different 
Mano, I think people let people out a lot more around here, so I will find the people in Guernsey a lot more courteous, the drivers, so people will slow down and let you out of a road, um, people will flash you on if you're looking to cross the road, people will slow down and let you cross, it's a lot more courteous, a lot nicer feel about it, more of a community, which is quite nice. So I'm heading north, you see this road, reasonably, reasonable size for Guernsey this one, quite normal, there's room to pass two cars, I would say easily, I don't know if you would depending where you're used to driving, but you're reasonably close to each other, but there's, there's enough room, there's certainly enough room, no one has to reverse for anyone, this is like a bit of a main road I suppose, classes as. But the, I suppose the thing you look after, look out for is all the little driveways and gateways. Uh, you can't just cruise along and not worry. You can see all the houses left and right of here. All the drive, they've all got driveways, and there's all people with cars in the driveways. And because there's not much room for error, as in there's not much room in the road, you have to be very careful of cars nudging out. Because a lot of cars, when they're coming out of the driveways, they can't always see and they nudge out slowly and it's so easy just to, just to have an accident so that's something as well um, you need to look for a lot of driveways a lot of people especially in the mornings when everyone's leaving for work uh, the cars coming out of everywhere you gotta keep your wits about you so much so not really um, much time to I suppose just not concentrate to you can't just cruise along like I maybe would on a motorway knowing that nothing's going to come out from the side or wherever here you you are driving slower but you have a lot more um, things to look out for I'm trying to think of the word you know what I mean there's a lot of things going on You've got to concentrate so at the uh, traffic lights here let's go straight on So what I'm going to do in a minute, I'm going to turn left at the filter and I'm going to head to one of the coast roads to show you what a, what a coast road looks like if you haven't seen one before. Follow this lorry. The coast roads aren't that much bigger I'd say to what you've probably seen so far. They're probably slightly bigger but that's where most learner drivers learn. If you're uh, new to driving, you would go onto the coast road where it tends to be a little bit less busy and um, you just learn how to drive your car. Then, as you get more used to it, you go a bit more inland. I think we might be following a cyclist in front of this boss, in front of this uh, lorry. I'm not sure, or maybe not. I'm not sure. We'll soon find out.
here we go this is a nice road where you can see no driveways each side cruising along nice nice road so we're heading to the coast it's like probably coast road this is our coast road and then we're going to head on round uh, Lee so this is Lee Lay over the hill then we'll go right at the end here we'll follow it round past the Peninsula Hotel towards Port Swaff nice little surf shop there Freedom Surf Shop here we go so this might be a good thing to do if you are new to driving in Guernsey head to the coast road get used to it not too busy those little lanes there's some one way systems as well on Guernsey no entries to look out for and we've got little lanes and they're signposted Rouette Tranquil I think the speed limit's 15 miles per hour yeah so you can see this road now this is a typical coast road so we've got the beach on the right and as you follow it around all around the west coast this is the size of the roads you'd probably have they do change a little bit the hotel in front of you is a peninsula hotel nice location So we've got houses dotted around everywhere. So you see you've got the solid white lines where you're not allowed to overtake on. And on the dotted you can, but you've got to be so careful because the roads are still small. And there is a lot of cyclists on the road in Guernsey. And they can cause big delays in um, cars piling up behind them. Because it's just so hard to overtake a cyclist safely. So you that's the only thing I would say about um, be very careful when you're overtaking cyclists because cars may be coming towards you faster than you think you are, than they are and you probably need more room than you think to overtake a cyclist actually in Guernsey So you just take the size of this road compared to the roads at the beginning of the video you see the size difference this is yeah this is what it's like this is the biggest roads we have in Guernsey now I wanted to go left here but the roads close anyway I'm gonna leave it there thanks for watching remember click the screen if you want to want to watch another video and if you want to see more remember subscribe until the next time take care and I'll see you again soon